Well, digital transformation is not just impacting large enterprises. Governments want to offer a better experience for their citizens. And the COVID crisis has even boosted the digitalization of public services. On the citizen side, digital identities bring facility of use and convenience, while reducing fraud and protecting their rights. In addition, around 1 billion people still do not have an official identity. Digital has a potential to reduce this divide. Obviously, shifting to digital identity also brings new challenges in terms of identity verification, data protection and interoperability. Our purpose at Thales Identity and Biometric Solutions is to protect people's identity and citizen rights with sustainable and user-centric secure solutions. We are already a leader in secure identity documents such as passports, identity cards or driver's licenses. We've built on this experience to deploy digital ID services and mobile apps to verify people's identity and grant access to online services. This helps people prove who they are, both online and in person. But they are not just for public services such as tax declarations or border control. The private sector can also benefit from the infrastructure. A few examples are hotels, car rental companies or concert venues where people might have to prove their identity, they're entitled to drive, or just to confirm their age. With privacy in mind, only the relevant information is shared. Our services are backed by robust software security, data encryption, identification and authentication mechanism, including biometrics, all of which address fraud and public security challenges. This gives governments and citizens the benefits of digital identities without compromising their rights or privacy. Mm -hmm.